Hi guys, welcome to this video on how to make an interactive PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to show you how to let your audience do fun stuff like voting in polls, writing in a word cloud, and even playing an exciting quiz directly within your PowerPoint presentation. All you need is a free account with Our House Slides to start making your PowerPoints more inclusive and engaging. Okay, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to sign up for a free account with Our House Slides. Here I'll just enter my email, password, and name. Then I'll head through the quick onboarding and I'll make a new presentation from scratch. So now that I'm on the editor, I can import my PowerPoint presentation directly to AHA Slides. To do that, I'm going to click the import button here and choose a PDF, PPT or PPTX file from my computer. This import is going to take a few minutes. So in the meantime, I'll start making some of the slides I want my audience to interact with within my PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to start with a simple icebreaker question. To create that, I'll come to the right hand column and click on the slide type labeled multiple choice. This is a poll slide type that lets my audience vote for their favorite answer. I'll write my question in here. Then I'll add my answer options in here. If you want, you can play around with the settings of the slide down here, but I'm going to leave them as they are for now. So, when my import is finished, I can see all of the slides of my PowerPoint presentation in the left-hand column. For a clearer view, I can click on Grid View down here, and I can make sure that all of the imported PowerPoint slides are exactly how I want them to be. Optionally, you can change the name of any of these slides, but that's just to help you with organizing your presentation. The names won't be visible to your audience. Okay, nice. Let's create another slide for my audience to interact with. I'm going to exit Grid View, Press the new slide button, then select a word cloud slide from the slide type menu. Again, I'll type my question in here. And that'll do for this slide. Next, I want to make a mini quiz to make sure everyone's following along with the info in my presentation. I'll navigate to this slide, press new slide, and choose one of the quiz slide options in the quiz and game section. Let's go with a pick answer slide. I'll write my question here and my answer options in here. Scrolling down, I can change the settings for this quiz slide, including the time limit for the question and how many points each player will get for a correct answer. I'm also going to choose to remove the leaderboard, because I want to make a few more questions for my mini quiz. Once I've made those questions, I'll leave one leaderboard at the end to reveal the winner of the quiz. Great, so now I'm going to round off my presentation with a Q&A slide. I don't need to change anything here, I'll just leave everything with its default settings. So now it's time to test how my presentation will look to both me and my audience. In the top right corner, I'm going to click this arrow, then select present from beginning. When I'm presenting for real, this is the point where I'd ask my audience to join my presentation on their phones. To do this, they can either type this URL into their phone's browser, or scan this QR code with their phone camera. So I'm going to join this presentation on my own phone to see how it will look for the members of my audience. Once I've joined, I can interact with this first slide on my phone. I'll select this answer on my phone screen, which will then show on the bar chart on the presenter screen. As the presenter, I can head through my presentation and present the information as normal. When I reach my next interactive slide, my word cloud slide, I can again respond on my phone screen like a participant would in my real presentation. To learn how to get the most out of a word cloud slide, please check out our tutorial for that feature. So I'll carry on presenting until I reach my quiz. Here my participants will have to enter their names and choose an avatar before we begin. Once they've joined that and I can see them in the lobby, I can start the quiz. In the quiz, players answer each of my questions as fast as they can to try and earn the most points. The winner will be revealed on the leaderboard at the end of the quiz. We've also got a tutorial on how to make a live quiz for your audience. So again, please check that out if you want to know more. Okay, lastly, I'll head through to my final slide, my Q&A slide. Here, participants can submit their questions to me via their phones, and I can keep track of each one and answer each one in an organized manner. And that's it. That's how you make an interactive PowerPoint for free using AHA Slides. 
Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.